Yes, welcome back to the sports show. Time to turn our attention to the SANFL. Of course, it has been a ripping start of the pre-season for the clubs we've spoken to. This man got his team into second spot last year, Jacob Surgeon, coach of the North Adelaide Footy Club. Serge, how are you? Good, Phil. How are you, mate? Very well, mate. Well done last year, mate. So uh, this you. year, the only problem with finishing second, mate, is they expect second or better <laughs> yeah. this year. So how's, how's the pre-season been? No, it's been really good, really positive on, on my behalf. You know, um, the guys came back in great condition. Um, I put it on a bit to come back in good nick because obviously we're going to have a shortened pre-season because all the COVID, all the COVID stuff, obviously. And um, and they did that, so we only trained for five sessions pre-Christmas, and then gave them a couple of sessions off and said, uh, "Enjoy your break and see you in mid-January." And uh, they came back and they're all hungry, ready to go for the season. And um, I'm really looking forward to uh, a big year ahead. When I was looking at your team when you played Glenelg at Debbie last week, was yep. it last week, yeah, uh, which was a, a pretty good win by you blokes. But I looked in the reserves, and the names that just jumped out at me in the reserves: mm. Jakey Need, mm -hmm. uh, Robbie Young, and Cameron Hewitt. Yeah, all in the in the twos. Yeah, there's, there's reason. Obviously, there's reasons for that. Serge, you're the coach, but it just looked strange. It looked. Whoa, hang on a minute. There's three blokes that will probably start, maybe. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, now those guys, um, Cam Cam Hewitt's probably um, had a little interrupted preseason um, with some okay. injuries, um, and and Robbie Young's the same. So uh, I thought it's really important okay. for those guys to come back through the twos and get a game of footy in. And Needy's the same. Needy's just yeah. building into some form. Um, he's had a few little injury niggles over the last two years since being at North, um, and yeah. he's finally starting to get his body right and starting to play good footy. And he was probably best on for, in our reserves on the weekend, which is a really positive sign for him, but for us as well. And uh, the other two boys got through a game of footy. I think Cam Hewitt actually busted his thumb um, about halfway through the second quarter. Mm -hmm. um, but he's fine. Um, it's only a thumb, he said, and he'll, he'll be right. So got another one. Um, he's got another one. <laughs> um, but no, he's, um, he's good. And you know, those guys uh, understood and, and know that um, there's no walk-up starts in North Adelaide. You've got to come in and you could perform. And um, you know, we're, we're picking our team and our squad on, on how they've had their pre-seasons and how they're performing, which is, um, which is exciting for us to have you know, some quality guys running around in the twos. Positive for you, very positive for you to have those guys running around in the twos, really. Yeah. Because the, your form against Glenelg was terrific. The, 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 the team that you put out in the A-grade was, was a great performance. Yeah, it was. You know, we, were, we were really pleased with the way we played. You know, we still probably have got to inject at least another five or six into that league team that could yeah. in hopefully in round one but in the next few weeks as well so um, that's really exciting for us and for our fans and um, you know those guys know if they've been on some sort of long-term injury that they're going to have to come back through the reserves and prove yeah. themselves and play some good footy because uh, we've got a lot of guys from our reserves team who made the grand final last year and lost to the Eagles um, who are stepping up and have yeah. had really good growth over the pre-season and playing good football okay. and, um, and they've been rewarded with some good lead mm. selections so far and um, hopefully they continue that. Yeah, okay. Mate, we like to excite the fans. New players coming in always excite the coach, hopefully. Yes. And some excite the fans. Mate, one of your good ones, of course, Aaron Young. How's he settled in, mate? Uh, seamlessly. He's um, he's an ultimate professional. Obviously, he played with Young at Port, and then he went up to the Gold Coast for a couple of years. And um, it was a pretty easy conversation. We actually thought he was going to come back to us at the end of this year, um, and we thought he was going to stay and play up in the new uh, the VFL, as, yep. they're, as they're calling it, um, program. But um, decided that him and his partner wanted to come back to Adelaide, and um, he was signed, still delivered, I reckon, within 24 or 48 hours. So well, we, were pretty, um, we were pretty excited to have him back. He's such a quality person, first. Yeah. Um, that's the one thing that, um, that I, I obviously really... Um, cherish a lot is the relationships that you have with your players and I've re always had a really strong um, balanced relationship with Youngie and um, you know it was an easy conversation for me and for him wanting to come back and um, he started off at North Adelaide when he obviously got drafted to Port in the old system and um, he basically said he didn't want to go anywhere else so it was a pretty easy conversation for us and when guys want to come back to your footy club um, they're, they're the players you want they're the no players doubt. you want but it just makes life a lot easier that you know you're getting quality people come back to your club and, and who invest in what the club's trying to do Mate, you bring a kid from the Northern Territory Brandon and Ruskin. He's got yep. a little bit of uh, tab on him that he's quick, super yep. quick. How's he settled in from the NT? Yeah, good, good. He's um his partner Taylor plays in our women's program as they well. She and, can play um, too. She's she's a she's a star. I think she played a few games for the women's crows team in yep. their inaugural year and um, she was up at Gold Coast last uh, last year or the year before. Um, and yeah, she's she's a star. She's um she can play really well. And so and Brendan, yeah, like you said, he's very quick. He's got beautiful skills on left and right and um, he played in the twos on the weekend and went okay and um, you know he's just building and hopefully we think he's gonna be a long term play for us. All right. Kane Murkovich. Kane, yeah, so Kane's a real unusual one. He's a kid who'd come over from 
um, Port Ferry in Victoria. And um, it's funny how some of these guys slip through the cracks and he's, I don't think, had any sort of football development apart from playing for his local club. Um, he's a tough, speedy inside mid who's um, just a footballer. And um, he's really competitive and he's added a lot to our group. And, um, you know, he, he's in line for a round one um, debut, hopefully. And, um, you know, he's just got to keep putting his hand up. He had a bit of an eye injury um, in the first couple of minutes of the game against Glenelg. So we didn't get to play a lot of the game. So he pretty much played after half time and, and still did pretty well. And um, he's a real competitive young guy. He just wants to get the best out of himself. So it's funny to see um, guys like him slip through the cracks and, um, and he... Um, He's just been, his work rate and his competitiveness has just been first class at training. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do for us this year. Mate, you had a terrific career at Port Adelaide. You, you were 14 years terrific, or something eh? with the club. No, you, you <laughs> were a terrific player. 121 games. My word, and, and a very popular one. And I think this proves it really, because you're now a head coach in North Adelaide. The players we've just spoken about, uh, I, I mentioned three, uh, Need, Young and Hewitt, they're all ex-Port Adelaide. Yep. Uh, Andrew Moore and Aaron Young. Yep ex-Port Adelaide. So they've got no uh, issue with coming back and playing with, for you. Now, no, that, like, that's the thing. I mean, it's relationships. You, you've built relationships with these guys before. So really, yeah. getting them to North Adelaide mightn't be as hard as you yeah, think. Yeah, all, all those blokes are sort of um, a North Adelaide people as well. Cam Hill was drafted exactly. as a junior. Exactly. Maury um, wanted to well. come back. And Maury and Youngie, obviously, when they yeah. played at Port Adelaide, got drafted to North Adelaide and they played in that system. Jake Unid right. was only the obviously one who was at Port and had sort of no affiliation with the club, who, yeah. um, having the relationships at Port with me and Kari, because yeah. Kari recruited him to the club at that stage as well. Um, oh, mate, it's, you, you'd like to think that... I'd like to think that I'm a good bloke and these guys want to sort of come play with me <laughs> and, and enjoy having a beer after the game and a good time. And that's yeah. what we sort of try to do. And, um, you know, but... Our guys understand that they know the expectations that we have of the club and they train hard. Mm. Like they're a really, yeah. really, really yeah. good group who train really hard, but yeah. they like to have a beer and enjoy themselves off field as well, which is which is good. Your leadership group, uh, you've, the captain's retained his spot for second yep. year, uh, Alex Spina. Spina. Yep. Spina. Always get that one mixed up. Spina, Spina. 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 Yep. But that's a pretty good group now because uh, Maury, Maury's on that. Uh, yep. So, group. so um, he captain. Box Hill. Box Hill to a so premiership in 2018, there yeah. You go. He's got there the go. pedigree. Um, and I had a chat about him being captain and, um, you know, he was more than happy to potentially do it. But for me, it was probably the right thing to go with a, a local guy, yeah. a local kid. And um, he put a lot of time and effort in under Max Thring as captain for those couple of years, yeah, especially when we won the, the premiership. And he was an yeah. outstanding captain. And um, Spins has really grown in that yeah. role, especially since I've taken over. We've got a great relationship. And I think yeah. captain, coach... Um, have yeah. to have a really strong relationship and be on the same page, which is what we do. Um, and then, obviously, Tommy Schwartz and Andrew Moore as my vice captains are just two wow. hardworking, yeah. competitive, um, yeah. set good standards. It's a good group, mate. Um, and then we yeah. added Cameron Craig, um, Cameron Craig into that group, who's the fullback, he made the team of the year in the SNFL this year, and he had an outstanding season. And um, he's just a really good leader who wants to get the best out of himself. So yeah. he was a, a natural fit for us to add into our group. Yeah. And you've got a McGarry medalist as well. Yeah, yeah, Campbell is an outstanding story. Um, did he steal your question, did he? No, no, um, it's all right, mate. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking for good bloke, and I saw your <laughs> name, but I can't find Baz's anyway. Mate. No, no, mate, Baz, Baz is one of the best. So, um, yeah, I can't, it's a fantastic story. He travels down twice a week to come training from Crystal Brook. That's a two and a half hour round trip. Yeah. Um, yeah. Him and his brother Will, and uh, we've got an, another Premiership player, Sam McInerney, who has probably missed the last 18, 19 months with a back injury, starting to, starting to get back into footy. He's come back to the club as well. Um, it's just a fantastic story, and we we're so pleased. Great and I story, think everyone yeah. saw the. Um, the elation that we had on that night yeah. when, you know, the Rob Kerridge and the guys walked into the club and we knew Campbell was going to win. It was just something really special and yeah. Um, yeah. sort of, I don't think anyone or too many people would have tipped him. Um, I always had confidence that he'd probably be Paul right Rob. up there and yeah. poll well, yeah. um, but you never know. And I was just thrilled for him that he got the yeah. opportunity and um, he's been a, an outstanding player for our footy club for a long time Great now. Great result. Yeah. And mate, quick one before we let you go. Uh, Westies on Friday night. You had yep. a good win against Glenelg. Westies under Brad Gotch this year. They had a good comeback over Norwood on the weekend. What, what do you want to take from the, from this game? Uh, for us, so we're, we're trying to go full game. mode. We'll probably play 23, um, but we want to try to keep it under 75 rotations, which is obviously the limit that we've got. We just want to work on our fundamentals of what our game is. Um, obviously contested ball we want to be able to move the ball fast we want to defend really well and um such a big oval out there at high sense we got centrals in round one yep. so we got to make Good sure that we um we try to play the oval like we're going to play centrals and um you know we're really looking forward to that challenge mm. well, mate, hey, 
Copy World, Regency, Perks, yep. so yeah, yeah, make sure you Villies. get in there. Villies, yep. Terry Howe. Yeah. Got to have the sponsors, Terry, don't yeah. you? Oh, Greg and the guys, they do a fantastic <laughs> job at getting all these so sponsors signed up. And, um, you know, they've been, uh, they've been a great benefit to our club for a long time. So we're very appreciate mm. uh, We look forward to the North Adelaide season. Jacob Surge and the coach done a terrific job down there. Second last year. They'll be around the mark this year. You need to get down and support the Roosters. Stay with us. Still, a bit more to come.